I'm going to try to attempt to answer a really tough question that I get asked quite often. Question is, what should I use for my first lights? I'm thinking about putting my first studio together, maybe buying some lights. What should I get? And it's a really big question because the question is more about who you are and what you want to look like than it is about what type of light you need for the job. So I would first ask yourself that question. Who am I? What do I want my work to look like? Do I want it to be really edgy? Do I want it to be soft and romantic? Do I want it to be warm? Do I want it to be cool? Do I want it to be hard? Do I want it to be soft? Um, do I want it to be really bright and colorful? Do I want it to be um, warm and romantic? What is my look? Then think about who am I going to be photographing mostly with these lights? Is it a number of people, one person, babies, couples? What is the look that I'm going for? So, I mean, first understand that before you can ever make a decision about what kind of light you need, because each light has its own purpose. I use many lights depending on the type of situation or the mood or the look that I'm trying to create. Just as like cinematographers do it all the time, when they're creating movies, they're looking for the same thing. They want to know the story first. They want to know the mood first. And then based upon those elements, they will create a lighting situation that will tell the rest of the story correctly, kind of like Paul Harvey, I guess. But it is definitely the beginning point. And then after that, I, I would really suggest this, is that not just going out and buying a light and your kit or anything like that until really you've taken some classes and studied and then be around some studio lighting situations, you know, take some classes, either through PP of A, there's workshops, there's uh, week-long training classes, there are, um, you know, studios that have in-studio seminars, so you can spend three or four days at least kind of getting warmed up and understanding what they use and see if that works for your particular situation too. Just getting a basic understanding or knowledge of what light does what, because every light looks different, has a different purpose, um, um, reacts differently, will give you a different look in your images. So you want to make sure you get the light that works best for you. So I know it's not what you want to hear. You want to hear, buy this light, buy this piece of equipment, and all your images will look great. But it's just not like that. There are so many different lights for so many different lighting situations. You really need to find out what your light is to begin with. If you just want to just start playing, though, and just start seeing light better and watching it and studying it. I mean, when you're in a restaurant, when you're outside, when you're walking downtown, wherever you are, be looking at light and look at the lighting pattern on everyone's face and look to see if it's great or bad and why it's good and why it's bad, where the light's coming from, and under, just start getting an understanding of how all that works. Obviously, what you want to begin with is being able to stand how to light the face, you know, making sure that the eyes have light in them, very critical, and then lighting the mask of the face. Begin with that. I mean, just that simple technique. And if you still want to play with light and, and you're not, and your class isn't coming up for a while that, that you want to take before you buy your lights, is just find a window and pretend like, like right now where I'm standing that this is a window right here and walk your subject forward and backward from the window. Look at the light in their eyes. How does it look? What is it, how does it change? You know, light in a studio can be similar to that, sometimes depending on the light that you're using. Start working with that. Take a look at that. Take something like a reflector. Bounce light back into the subject and see how it reacts. Maybe, you know, put it behind them so it's more of an edge light. Back in here, or put it in here so it's more of a fill light, depending on the situation you want. Me, personally, I wouldn't want to fill it in. I like lighting ratios, so I don't really like the too flat of lighting unless I'm going for like a high fashion kind of a look. So um, again, it's an understanding of light before you buy the light is really what's critical because then when you buy the per make the purchase, spend the money, you know you're getting the piece of equipment that will give you the look and the feel that is yours and um, have the feel and the mood that you're trying to create in your particular style or your niche type of lighting that you want to create.